Okay. Um, lessons. I mean, quite a lot of you took piano lessons when you were little. Okay. Lessons. There appeared to be every reason to give it up. Mrs. Dick Meyer's frail hand reached over Peter's packed sheet music. She asked if just by chance he had happened to notice the signature. He had not. Two sharps, she bellowed, as fundamentally true as two blocks away. Peter heard Rodney call Butch's number for a deep lookout pass. On the couch, his mother and Lisa sighed, as had his dad that morning trying to read the sports page and writing the weekly check that they could not afford. He added, pretending to laugh. He asked Peter how many weeks until he himself insisted he was giving it up. It is your decision. Peter's bony white fingers ripped the bench. It could be a disaster to rest them on the keys. Mrs. Dickmeyer smelled sickly, like the smiling ladies at the perfume counter in the mall department store. She knew, she knew how boys make mistakes, even on scales. Trying is not enough, she'd say about <clears throat> ten times an hour. She smiled at last with resignation. In ten minutes, it would be Lisa's turn. In only two lessons, Lisa would be concert ready. And this silly boy would be out of her hair with nothing to love but football, perhaps forever. Rodney never knew why, but Peter kept going to Mrs. Dickmeyer's lessons as if that stuff about piano were all that he might ever learn in his life.